Hello and welcome, my name is Steve and this is how to use chaos in your sequencer. I'm currently working on a short Star Wars fan film and I wanted to do a sequence where the X-Wing shoots out a bridge, it then goes underneath the bridge and the bridge collapses on the TIE Fighter. So, how do we do that? I know we, I need to use chaos, I know I need to use some explosions, so how do we do it? So, this is where I'm at at the moment. As you can see, it falls and that's all in the sequencer. So, why don't we start from scratch, delete that. Okay, we will bring up a new bridge, position it. Right, so we go to fracture, we then select new and we'll put it into our fracture folder. Seemingly there's always this one that already exists. And then we come down to cluster and I'll put in 15, 15 just because, 15 and 15 because that worked last time. And then we'll come down and hit fracture. Okay, so we've we've fractured with a cluster, and there's all our bits ready to go. So we'll go back into selection. Now we can just play this. And it's really slow and not much is happening. So what we need to do, we need to delete this, come down into our folder, go to our fracture folder, put it back into position, and then we need to come down to damage thresholds and then I'll just put 10 for now makes it quicker but you can play around with them and we'll just press play now this is a big structure so it's going to go quite slow but that's not to worry about that because once we get it in the sequencer then we can speed that up okay make sure the thing that you want to record is in selected come down to chaos and then create cache manager put it in your folder and then come up to the cache manager that you're going to use in the, within the that you selected from your model and there it says record and now you just press play. This is now recording the breakup of all the bits within the scene and wait for it to um, settle and then we'll press stop. We'll just wait for that last bit. Okay, we'll stop it there. Now we need to change that to static pose grab our chaos cache manager easy for me to say and put it into our sequence select the track and start time and then we'll go through i've already placed some explosions here so we'll go through find out when our explosion is going to go off and just before that We'll put a keyframe and then go a little bit further up and then put in a hundred. And there you go. And you can speed it up and down in your sequencer. Fast or slow. That's great for me because I need to slow it down so that the uh, TIE fighter can go through. So 
So there you go, this is how you use Chaos in the sequencer. Okay, I'm still working on the short, so I'm not sure when it's gonna be out, but I'll be doing some more films. And every time I do a short film, I try to do something new. So this is something that I needed to do for the short, and I think it looks great. So hopefully, fingers crossed, the short will be coming out soon. If not, I'll do another tutorial. Thanks for watching. Do all subscribing and whatnot, and I'll, uh, I'll see you on the next one. Cheers, bye.